hello friends let's welcome back to another important session in sap sd and it, which is very very key important topic for sales and distribution that is sap rebate processing so i think you have seen in your pricing section so many condition types there you got a doubt rebate and discount one and the same but it's not exactly like that let's try to understand what is the basic difference between rebate and discount discount actually which applies on invoice immediately okay there is no negotiation there is a no bargain suppose negotiation or bargain is there for your manual discounts but that will be applicable for certain period or a certain moment on that particular invoice that is the discount which is the privilege given on your base price but a rebate is also a, like a privilege for a customer a rebate if you see the definition a rebate is a discount given to the customer based on customer sales volume or quantity for a time period you have to understand this so i say to my wholesalers with simple example if you sell 10000 quantity pieces of chocolates i am giving 5% additional privilege discount to you if you reach your sales volumes so i said 10000 pieces in the similar way i am giving the same discount like if you reach only 7000 i am giving another 5 percentage so like rebate has a nature of retractiveness please try to remember that word we are going to discuss but rebate actually not compulsory to pricing element offered to customer but it's a conditional element like if you reach certain target i'll give you this much if you if you put certain hoarding at your shop with with sales uh, sales independent okay actually it's not depends on your sales in further sections we are going to discuss what kind of rebates we have so like uh, dow announce if you keep holding at the top of your shop we are giving some privilege some amount to you whether sales happen sales not happen but a certain time period inspection will happen so by the company so or else it depends on the credibility on any lever they are giving the discount in a similar way most of the multinational companies for boosting up their sales with their customers they are using rebate if you see the broader definition a rebate is a discount given to the customer based on customer sales if you see the volume or quantity dependency certain times it might be time period without independent of your sales not depending on your sales actually okay this is theory let's try to understand this with one example to process rebates like uh, so what is the credibility if you say that uh, with a certain customer you said 10000 pieces of chocolates if i sell it you are giving 10% additional rebate to me but what is the credibility so for agreeing the both seller and buyer so there is an, a common agreement between them to reach 10000 pieces of chocolate sales if i would like to give 10 percentage so then obviously i should have an agreement for that for giving this rebate both parties will be agreed so that agreement we will call it as a rebate agreement in offline sign off will be there and how it will be there in sap will try to understand this to process rebates a rebate agreement is created with customer based upon the certain criteria like time period 
which customer I would like to give, whether I would like to give for distributors, whether I would like to give for wholesalers, whether I would like to give for certain material or else for certain customers only for specific materials. Okay. It depends on the who, what kind of uh, rebate the customer is receiving. So let's try to understand this. Okay. What kind of rebates we have? Types of rebates. And standard system has the following rebate types. Like one is group rebate in SAP system. Second one is material rebate. And third one is customer rebate. And fourth one is hierarchy rebate. Hierarchy rebate and material. And a sales independent rebate. What is the sales dependent rebate and sales independent rebate? We'll try to understand with some examples. Okay. So, so, so how rebates will be configured in SAP system. Before getting into this slide, I would like to explain with one theoretical example. Okay. Uh, how the rebates will be applicable. Okay. So before concluding these two slides, I would like to tell that rebate is also a kind of discount, but it has a certain conditions for that you have an agreement, but your regular company announced discounts don't have an agreement between customers that also boost of the sales, but or rebate discounts more or less like a long term in nature and specifically pointing out specific occasions like a festival all to boost up the sales companies using the rebate. And further, they will do the agreement with the customer. If they reach the targets, if they reach the timelines, they will announce the rebates and uh, this uh, system will be automatically calculated. That's the beauty of SAP system and which will be paid to, which will be reversed to the customer GL accounts. How it is going to get happen that we're going to see in another few minutes. And before getting into the SAP system, I would like to tell one good example for understanding how these rebates will be applicable like group rebate and material rebate and customer rebate on one sample example. After that, we'll try to see how we're going to create at configuration level. So, and the master data level, how rebate agreements will be created, how those will be maintained, how those will be configured, how those will be settled through rebate settlement. We're going to see all these things. This is the brief about rebate definition, types of rebates. And last but not least, what is retroactive nature of rebate? That I'm going to cover with my theoretical example in Excel. And after that, we'll walk through slide by slide. With this, you are going to be expert introduction to the rebates. And next, we are going to see an SAP system, how it works. Let's join for next session.